This is a Port Jackson fig tree, and if you look carefully, you'll notice there's lots of little rainbow lorikeets eating the fruit. Now, all of those native evergreen figs, like the Morton Bay fig and all the weeping figs that we grow around our houses, all produce genuine little fig fruits. Obviously, the rainbow lorikeets are eating them, but the fig is probably the most curious of all fruit on Earth. The actual fruit forms before the flowers. So you grow that lovely fig and the flowers form inside the fruit. And there's a tiny hole at one end and a little wasp goes in and fertilizes the flowers inside the fruit. Very, very curious that normally you get a flower first and then fruit on anything, but figs are the reverse. That's what the inside looks like. There's the wasp right there. You notice a real thin little creature, that's how it can get in the tiny little hole in the end of the fruit to fertilize the flowers. That little wasp is nowhere near a millimeter across. He's probably about two millimeters to three millimeters long, but much less than a millimeter across. He's not much thicker than a human hair. And of course, he's laid his eggs in there. There'll be maggots in there, baby wasps in there as well. So when you eat a, a fig, you're often eating fruit, seeds, flowers, dead flowers, I suppose. A few wasps, some of their eggs, and of course, wasp maggots.